Right, now listen up here now, y'all. Tough times call for tough people. Not quite sure what I mean by that, but got y'all a little video here where I'm going to be drawing something with a 3D pen. And when you draw something with a 3D pen, it turns into more of a, well, it turns into more of a sculpture. So, I'm going to be drawing y'all a abstract sculpture of sorts. Because uh, when I do my abstract drawings with an abstract 3D pen, it turns into a sculpture. So I've never used one of these before, and a lot of people have been encouraging me to use a 3D pen. And uh, I've been putting it off for a long time, because for a long time, I just thought this technology wasn't where I wish it had been. Where I wish it should be, and where I thought it could be. And what I really wanted from 3D pens is uh, for, you know, to just be able to freely draw in 3D, 3D space. Maybe, like maybe you can with uh, some of these, uh, you know, like 3D, 3D like VR programs like Tilt Brush and stuff like that. Which, which is still a technology I have to toy with at some point. But maybe now that I've built a new computer I can try that. Maybe... I didn't even think of that. I haven't thought of that in a long time, actually. Anyways, the 3D pen, I, I was really, I was kind of stubborn. I am a stubborn person. Sometimes the more that people tell me to try something, the more I put it off. But my curiosity got the best of me, and here I am. We're doing it. We are. And uh, you really, you can't just draw freely in 3D space. You've got to, uh, there's, wait, first of all, there's two different types of most popular plastics you can use. There's ABS plastic and there's PLA plastic. The ABS plastic is uh, it's a little more toxic when you use it. You've got to make sure you have real good ventilation. Uh, and I, I didn't have this because I knew it, since I knew I was going to be using it indoors a lot of times, I, uh, I opted for the PLA plastic, which it's, it's a little sweeter. And when you burn with it, I mean when you build with it, uh, it, 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 it smells sweet like candy a little bit. So I, I opted for that. And, and when you, uh, when you build with it, the, it comes out of this little 3D pen at about, uh, about 200 degrees Celsius, give or take. And then when it comes out, it, it cools. And as soon as it cools, it cools quickly. It hardens instantly. And it's really rigid and strong. And I was, I was pleasantly pleased and surprised by uh, how rigid and strong it was. Even though it's thin, uh, I thought it looks fragile, but it's actually really strong. And I was happy with it. This, like, I was building this this structure. And it looks like some sort of weird, maybe like a like a crazy building or something. But uh, it, it it was actually really strong. Like I could I could grab some weird little tip toppy piece of it and pick up the whole thing and swing it around and do crazy stuff with it and it didn't even feel like it was about to break in fact uh, if I had like some little strand of it it was actually really difficult to break and I had to have my little Leatherman tool on hand uh, to cut little pieces off of it I couldn't break it off by hand it was uh, I don't know but so I before I built this thing I had some I, I squeezed out a bunch of it uh, into little piles and whatnot just to get uh, you know, get a get a feel for it, just to see how it worked. Anyways, what was I saying? Anyways, yeah, you can't just draw up freely into 3D space like I wish you could. Maybe one day the technology will be there where you can just freely draw up into 3D space like you can with like VR tilt brush programs and stuff like that. But uh, you can do it all right. Like you just gotta kind of build up some supports and stuff. Uh, kind of you gotta build up onto itself. It's kind of an additive technology where, and you, you can you can build straight up, but you gotta like let it dry first, and then build straight up on top of that. And uh, it's definitely got a lot of potential, and I'm excited about it. And I don't know, I probably should have gotten one a long time ago, but I was I got in my own way with my stubbornness. I really did. I, I have only myself to blame. But it's not like I didn't have a lot of other fun stuff that I was doing in the meantime. One of the weird things about this is, or one of the little annoying things, is all the little strings. Like, when you finish like a little, you make little blobs of it, you know? 
or long block mick what, what are, what's i don't know sometimes i have problem thinking of words you know like you make tendrils tendrils is a cool word you make tendrils of it and then uh you like stop a tendril and you pull the pen away and there's a tendency for these long very thin hair like strands to accumulate on your desk because you're stopping and starting and stopping and starting and that's a little bit annoying uh, it's just a little bit messy in that sense and I was working on like a wooden desk it's kind of splintery and those hair like tendrils like plastic hairs they were really just plastic hairs were like accumulating and I don't know it's it's really a nitpicky thing but it's fun it was very fun I took my time with it and uh, really, there's no danger of burning yourself unless you touch the very tippy tippy tip. And this model, the, I think, I don't know how to pronounce it, I think it's minted, it's spelled M Y N T 3 D. It's like a little pun, pin, a pun, a pun. I don't know why I can't say pun. I think this mustache is making it harder to talk. It's like it gets in my mouth. I'll probably shave it off at any second. It's a constant battle. It is. Anyways, I had a great time with it. I had a great, I did, I did. I really did. And uh, I recommend it to anyone. It's a little pricey. I'll probably get, keep, I mean, they probably were, used to be a lot more expensive and they'll probably keep getting cheaper. And I bought just a big spool, like a 1.2, for some reason they, they do the spools by the pound, I mean by the kilogram. I bought two 1.2 kilogram spools of this PLA filament or whatever it's called. I bought a spool of the black stuff and a spool of the white stuff. Uh, they're like $20 each for the spools, 1.2 kgs. And uh, I don't think I'll run out anytime soon. I don't think I will. I just, I like having a ton of it so I can just draw endlessly in 3D space and just have like almost unlimited amounts of this stuff and not worry about it. It's a great feeling. And uh, yeah, I have like all sorts of ideas now after this first project of all sorts of stuff to do. Um, I'm excited about it. I really am. Anyways, let me know if you guys have any questions. Uh, I had fun. I did. I did have fun. Anyways, thanks for all the people that did suggest this over and over and over again until I finally caved and did it. All right, goodbye, everybody. No, take, take that back. Goodbye. goodbye. I gotta find my way out of the woods again. I think I came from uphill.